Miglitol is an oral alpha-glucosidase inhibitor used to improve glycemic control by delaying the digestion of carbohydrates. In this video, let's find found. What is Miglitol? What is Miglitol used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking Miglitol? How does Miglitol work? How to use Miglitol? What is Miglitol? Miglitol is an oral anti-diabetic drug that acts by inhibiting the ability of the patient to break down complex carbohydrates into glucose. It is primarily used in diabetes mellitus type 2 for establishing greater glycemic control by preventing the digestion of carbohydrates, such as disaccharides, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides, into monosaccharides which can be absorbed by the body. In contrast to a carbose, another alpha-glucosidase inhibitor, miglitol is systemically absorbed, however, it is not metabolized and is excreted by the kidneys. What is miglitol used for? For use as an adjunct to diet to improve glycemic control in patients with non-insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus, NIDM, whose hyperglycemia cannot be managed with diet alone. Contraindication Glycet tablets are contraindicated in patients with diabetic ketoacidosis, inflammatory bowel disease, colonic ulceration, or partial intestinal obstruction, and in patients predisposed to intestinal obstruction. Side effects The most common side effects include bloated full feeling, excess air or gas in stomach or intestines, Increase in bowel movements. Loose stools. Passing gas. Soft stools. Stomach or abdomen pain. Pharmacodynamic. Miglitol, an oral alpha-glucosidase inhibitor, is a desoxynogeromycin derivative that delays the digestion of ingested carbohydrates, thereby resulting in a smaller rise in blood glucose concentration following meals. As a consequence of plasma glucose reduction, miglitol reduced levels of glycosylated hemoglobin in patients with type 2, non-insulin-dependent, diabetes mellitus. Systemic non-enzymatic protein glycosylation, as reflected by levels of glycosylated hemoglobin, is a function of average blood glucose concentration over time. Because its mechanism of action is different, the effect of miglitol to enhance glycemic control is additive to that of sulfonylureas when used in combination. In addition, miglitol diminishes the insulinotropic and weight-increasing effects of sulfonylureas. Miglitol has minor inhibitory activity against lactase and consequently, at the recommended doses, would not be expected to induce lactose intolerance. Mechanism of Action in contrast to sulfonylureas, miglitol does not enhance insulin secretion. The antihyperglycemic action of miglitol results from a reversible inhibition of membrane-bound intestinal A-glucoside hydrolase enzymes. Membrane-bound intestinal A-glucosidases hydrolyze oligosaccharides and disaccharides to glucose and other monosaccharides in the brush border of the small intestine. In diabetic patients, this enzyme inhibition results in delayed glucose absorption and lowering of postprandial hyperglycemia. Half-life The elimination half-life of miglitol from plasma is approximately 2 hours. Dose Type 2 DM, monotherapy, or with sulfonylurea. Initial, 25 mg POQ8HR at meals, with first bite. Maintenance, usually 50 mg POQ8HR, increase after 4 to 8 weeks. Not more than 100 mg POQ8HR. Safety Advice AUTGA Pregnancy Category B3, drugs, which have been taken by only a limited number of pregnant women and women of childbearing age, without an increase in the frequency of malformation or other direct or indirect harmful effects on the human fetus having been observed. That's all the information about Miglitol we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the HeInfo channel if you like this video to update more health information.